Hey guys, welcome to your seventh blogs for students tutorial. Um, and in this tutorial, we are finally going to get into the art of blogging itself. Now, at the moment, our website isn't really a blog, it is just a website with lots of pages with information that's really not going to change much. Um, but one of the great things about blogging is that you can add to your site as much as you like and um, set, start up. Um, sort of discussions with people. Now this can be pretty useful um, for school projects um, because you can get feedback and as I said you can discuss ideas in a little bit more depth and detail so it's more of a two-way conversation than a normal website would be. Um, so what we need um, to make this into a blog is we need to create a blog page. So if we go to a dashboard uh, we're going to create a new page and you can call this whatever you like you can call it blog you can call it news you can call it um, discussion I'm going to call mine discussion um, so just give it a title don't put anything in here because this is going to be a blog page so it will get filled up with um, blog posts which we'll create separately um, now what we need to do is just look at the page attributes here and we need to use a different template um, actually we don't need to use a different template sometimes there's a blog template but this one it's just default um, you could have it so it takes up the whole width of the screen without the sidebar but we're going to look at the sidebar later it's kind of useful to have so let's just keep it as default for now then um, and that's fine okay so the next thing that you probably want to do is uh, make sure that comments are allowed because that's the whole point of having a blog is that you can share comments and ideas um, and you want people to be able to share your posts as well. So that's all good. So we're just going to publish that as it is. And then we're going to go back into our settings uh, that we looked at a couple of tutorials ago. Um, and if we go into our reading settings, if you remember, we decided to have about Steinbeck as our front page, our sort of home page, but we didn't select a post page. So we can do that now, um, and our post page is going to be discussion. And that's so that's fine. So just scroll all the way down, save changes. Obviously, if yours is called blog, then call it blog or if it's called news, call it news. Um, but ours is discussion, so that's that. Okay, the next thing you want to do is create a post. So a post is different from a page. Um, so if you go to posts, um, and there aren't any posts there, so we're just going to add a new one. Um, so we want a title for a post. Um, now we want something interesting that's going to provoke some discussion. Um, so I'm going to do something about Curly's wife. Um, victim or villain. Okay, um, and then down here I c in the actual post itself I could give my argument. So I think that Curly's a victim because and then I could just you know put some ideas in there um, however she also seems like a villain in that whatever and then what do you think um, so then people can sort of comment on that if they want to. Um, okay, so what we want to do next is we want to add a category to this. So um, let's call the category Curly's Wife. Okay, so each, yeah, basically each blog post has a category. So um, we don't want it to be uncategorized. Um, and then you can add some tags in there. Um, so let's put Curly's wife, um, victim. 
Python, Villain, um, and then maybe SE question. That'll do. Okay, and the format that we want, now this is just going to be a standard blog post, but you could have, like, if you were doing an art blog, you might have a gallery of um, paintings, or um, if it was a media blog, you might want to have a video in there. Um, you know, it's it's up to you, really. Um, but I'm just going to have this one as a standard post. Um, so, again, sharing buttons are there, likes are there, um, comments and everything are all good. So that's fine. I'm just going to publish that. then what we will do is we will just have a quick look and see how the whole thing has turned out so far. So go back to okay so there's our website um, so we've got about page we've got our summary page we've got a characters page ah but we don't have a blog page so we're gonna have to go back into our dashboard and into our menus and we just want to add this page to the menu so it's our discussion page add to menu now you can get it to do this automatically um, if you say if you check this box here where it says automatically add new top level pages to this menu um, it will do that for you um, but you might want to decide um, to put it rather than on the end where it goes automatically you might want to put it um, up at the up at the start there because that's the discussion is kind of an important part um, or you could just leave it at the end it's up to you but every time you add a new page just don't forget to go into your menu um, and add it and put it in the place that you want then save your menu And then hopefully that won't take too long and we can go back and have a look at how our site is doing. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so obviously you're probably going to have a bit more detail than this, but it gives you an idea. Um, and if you want to, you can add a comment um, or hopefully other people will be able to. Um, think she is a victim. There we go. And so basically people can just come in and put their thoughts on there. Um, so that's it. Um, so now you know how to turn your website into a blog. Um, next time we're just going to finish up by sorting out some of your main settings. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.